everyone, it's Laura from lauralondonfitness.com and today I am reviewing the Prana Map. I love the Prana Map. I'm going to show you. It came in this box, so we're going to unbox it together. I already have opened it up because I couldn't wait. Um, the, but first of all, the Prana Mat is a therapeutic massage mat that you can use at home. You can take it to the yoga studio with you. You could do it outdoors, by the pool, inside. It's amazing and I'm going to tell you all about it. So this is how it comes in this beautiful, beautiful box and they come in different colors. So I selected purple and here it is. Look at this. This is the mat. Do you see all those little lotus petals? right there's hundreds of them and then you also have your pillow the prana mat pillow look it's got a beautiful little lotus on the back too and then it comes with instructions for the mat and the pillow and it tells you how to use them i'm going to tell you a little bit more about it so you know getting a massage is awesome is amazing i'm a firm believer of going to get massages whatever i can but hey we can't always make it to go get a massage and this is the perfect solution because you can do this at home in the time that you have and you can do it anywhere so first of all the prana mat is um made of linen it's a hundred percent linen and then there is cotton, 100% cotton that's undyed inside. And then it also has, do you hear this? It's like squishy, it's coconut fibers in here, which is really, really cool. So it's very eco-friendly. You can see the green prana mat label right here. And so what does it do? It has all these little lotus petals. I wish you could you could feel them with me. They're actually hard and they're a little spiky. And you might think, oh my gosh, Laura, it sounds like, like it might hurt. No, it doesn't hurt. And that's the beauty of it. What you do is you lie down on it very gently. And if you're just starting out, I suggest you put a thin towel down. But I usually wear like a workout top and exercise pants. You lie down very gently on it. And I'm going to demonstrate it for you too, so don't worry. Um, and the little lotus petals, at first you're like, oh, they're prickly. And then when you lie down on it and you get used to it, it literally feels like all these little massage fingers are coming and massaging your body, your acupressure points on your body. So what is this good for? It's good for relieving stress. I work out a lot, so I have a lot of muscle soreness. It's great for, for, for relieving muscle tension and muscle soreness. The little, the little pricks actually help to circulate your blood flow, bringing more blood. Blood means more oxygen to the places on your body that need it. It can help with um, reducing um, blood pressure. It can help with building up your body's immune system. It's amazing what massage can do for the body. And you always want to hydrate after you have a massage. So have one of my uh, hydration creations or a healing herbal tea. So what else can I tell you about the prana mat? Oh my gosh. My husband loves it. At first he was like, yeah, no, I'm not doing that. I'm not getting on that. He was a little skeptical. It took him a couple, I don't know, maybe a week or two of watching me use it and really explaining what it does and how much better I felt. And he finally, finally tried it out. And now I kind of have to search for my prana mat when I want to go use it. <laughs> so that is why I love the prana mat. And oh, you could, I would really wish you could feel these. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how I use the prana mat. Let's Welcome go. to my prana mat. I'm going to show you how I use the prana mat. Now, first of all, I just want to tell you that to begin with, you could put like a little yoga towel down on top of it until you become used to the little lotus petals. So what I do is I gently, I'm going to, I rest my booty on the mat 
and very gently I lie down onto the prana mat. I'm going to move my head up here and it's great when you can actually have your skin touching the mat. So right now I can feel all these little prickly lotus petals touching my body and once I just settle in and relax it starts to feel like they're massaging. It's really amazing. So here I'm using the pillow and I'm using the mat. Now to start with you might want to use it for five minutes and then now I use it for like 20 to 30 minutes at a time. And that's just it. You lie here, you can put on some beautiful Zen music and just relax. Now if you want, you can pick your feet up and you can put your lower back into the mat a little bit more. Or I'm gonna show you what I do with the pillow for my lower back. This is how I like to use the Prana Mat Echo Pillow for my lower back. I have um, some disc issues, something called a pars defect in my back. So it's a challenge and it gets sore right down here in my lower back very often. So what I do is I take the pillow and I put it right into the arch of my back and then I just lie here. I like to keep one foot up. And then it's just massaging that lower back. You can adjust yourself till you get it in the right spot. And that feels really, really good. I'm gonna come back up. Sometimes if you have a headache and you just wanna use it on your head, gently lie down. I've got a lot of hair. <laughs> but you can use it on your head and just relax. Breathe deep, your headache will disappear. Now, I wanted to show you also how you can use the Prana Echo Mat um, with your feet. You can use it, but I wanted to show you this. This is great here to take to travel. This is what I wanted to show you. That you can unzip both the pillow and the mat. Here's the linen, undyed linen fiber. And if you can see in here, I don't know if you can see it, it's the coconut fiber in there. But you can take both of these out and then you're just going to be left with the prana mat. You can roll it up and put it in your suitcase and take it and it will travel really well with you. You can roll it out on your hotel bed. You can do the same thing with the pillow. Take out the insides and bring it with you. It's fine, but when you're at home, use the insides. So I wanted to show you that. And now I'm gonna show you how you can use it on your feet here. I'm going to show you one way. We can just put it down here and you can put your feet gently on the mat and just kind of lean back, wiggle your toes and you'll feel all those sensations. Now I've studied reflexology so every organ in your body is connected at the bottom of your feet. So this is really good using all those acupressure points on your feet. You could also sit in a chair and then put your feet down or you could stand up. I'm gonna show you standing up. So the last way I use the prana mat is just standing on it. We stand all day long so it's great to relieve the tension in your feet and your legs. Oh, I just thought of some other ways I use it so I'm gonna show you those too. So gently you're gonna step on it and those little lotus petals are starting to work their magic. If this is too much pressure, then sit down in a chair or you can use it sitting on the floor. Another way you can use it is if you have, um, you know, tight glute muscles, gently sit on it and it'll just sit here and it will work its magic. Now if you have tight hamstrings, you could use the mat or you could use the pillow and put it underneath your hamstrings, your calves. There are a lot of different ways that you can use the Prana Echo Mat, which is why I really, really love it. And I know you will too. So if you have any questions, let me know. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys again real soon. Stay hot and healthy from the inside out.